Welcome to SG Nice Property. In today's video, I'm going to go through with you the types of area in property and all you need to know. The most important terms always used in property are land area, built up area, total floor area, cross floor area, strata area, and net area. Other commonly used terms include void area, double volume area, strata private balcony area, private enclosed space, strata private roof terrace, and strata aircon ledges. So what exactly is GFA or gross floor area? It measures the bulk and intensity of a development for the purpose of plot ratio control. Now that, what that means is that it is the total area of the covered floor space measured between the center lines of the party walls, including the thickness of the external walls, but excluding voids. The calculation for it would be GFA equals to land area times the plot ratio. What is strata area? Strata means share. Many strata units sharing the same land. Strata area is the size of individual units added up together. So, what is not included in GFA? Double volume, a term which is given to units with more than 5 meters ceiling height. So, why do developers build such units? Building height probably has not reached its maximum, but GFA has been maxed out. PES area, roof terraces and voids cannot be developed without applying for purchase of additional GFA. However, these areas are included in the calculation of the share value used to compute maintenance fees. Built-up area or built-in area is the total area being developed or constructed. Built-up area refers to the total area of the building which has been built on the land parcel. Net area is the usable area, and total floor area is the area of all floors of a building calculated with the external dimensions of the building, including structures, partitions, corridors, stairs. So by now, you could be confused with all the different terms of the area. Let me give you an example. Supposing Mr. Tan were to buy a piece of land which is 100 feet by 100 feet with a plot ratio of 1.4, what it means is that his land area would be 100 feet times 100 feet which is 10,000 square feet. The owner now chooses to build a three-story building. His maximum built-in area or his gross floor area will be 14,000 square feet. As I mentioned, if you were to build a three-story building, the building footprint now becomes 68 feet by 68 feet as shown in the square here. So, if I were to have a side view of it, this shows you that based on his maximum cross floor area, which is 14,000 square feet, he could build a building up to 9 meters if it is 3 meters in height per story. So this shows you 9 meters, first story, second story, third story. However, if he chooses to use up areas which are allowed to be used in your strata area but is not part of the cross floor area, he can do so by building a foyer or a balcony and he can replace these areas by building a basement below. Considering that the height limit of a building may be, for example, 12 meters, that would mean that he can actually build a third story with a double volume or a void area and he can build a roof terrace. So this roof terrace, this balcony, this foyer will not be included in his GFA at all. What he also can do is he can build an aircon ledge or a private enclosed space as well as a bay window. 
This is how buildings look so much bigger and more beautiful as compared to ordinary ones. I hope this video has been useful. Please help to like, subscribe, ring the notifications and we will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.